गुड मॉर्निंग लेट अस स्टडी टुडे लाइफ स्टेपिंग मेथड हाउ दिस मेथड इज यूज्ड फॉर द डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ मोलर लॉस ऑफ बॉडी मास यूजिंग दिस मेथड द मास एवरेज और द वेट एवरेज मोलर लॉस ऑफ बॉडी मास इज अपटेन दिस वाज एस्ड इन गेट ऑफ सेल्स एंड दिस मेथड इज based on the principle of tyndall effect what is tyndall effect it is it occurs due to the scattering of light by the suspended polymer particles in polymer solution or in colloidal solution this method is very very useful only for huge polymer with large molecular weight that is greater than 10 below 10 lakhs this method is not applicable this method is based on the simple equation i by i not equal to e power minus tl this equation is very similar to our beef lambert law we have studied it earlier please watch the lambert law okay the where the i not is the intensity of the incident light intensity of the incident light where i is the i equal to intensity of the transmitted light intensity of the transmitted light passing through the polymer solution of path length 1 cm path length what is the path length of the solution this is uh, nothing but uh, turbidity meter reflow meter the it is a uv cell it is similar to uv cell similar to uv cell the path length is 1 Okay. Now, where T is the turbidity of the polymer solution? What is T? T is the turbidity. Okay. It is the. It is defined as the fraction of light scattered, scattered by the polymer solution when passed through when it for when passed through polymer solution of one centimeter path length. Okay. It is the what is turbidity the turbidity of a polymer solution is defined as the fraction of incident light scattered when passing through polymer solution of 1 cm length okay now what is turbidity now turbidity is equal to is directly proportional to concentration turbidity means it is um, like when you add it milk to water that is why it becomes a turbid therefore the turbidity is related to concentration directly proportional to concentration and the molecular weight as molecular weight increases turbidity increases as molecular weight as concentration increases the turbidity increases therefore uh, similarly as molecular mass increases the turbidity increases therefore turbidity is directly proportional to concentration of the polymer concentration is expressed the concentration of polymer is expressed in mass concentration gram per cc or gram per gram per 100 ml gram per ml etc therefore t equal to kcm by k is a proportionality constant okay k is a proportionality constant and t is measured from t is measured from the ratio of intensity of incident light to the intensity of the Um, incident light intensity of the scatter light okay so t is measured from the ratio of i by i not i by i not can be easily measured can be easily measured okay therefore now what is k k is turbidity constant or proportionality constant it is it is proportional to inversely proportional to fourth power of wavelength of the incident light Where lambda is the wavelength of the incident light beam. Okay, this is similar to Rayleigh scattering. This is similar to Rayleigh scattering. Blue light is more scattered than red light because of water pressure. Blue light is more scattered. Therefore, the sky is blue in color because of Rayleigh scattering. You have already studied. What is the? This is the equation. This is the expression used to. Determine the turbidity constant. That is uh, lambda to the power four thirty two pi q n zero square n minus n naught by t whole square divided by three n 
lambda to the power. Okay, where n is the Avogadro number, Avogadro number, and n zero, small n zero is the refractive index of the solvent, reference liquid, reference liquid, and n is the refractive index of the polymer solution. The lambda equal to I have already defined. Now this equation one can be rewritten as equation one can be rewritten as Kc by T, Kc by Kc by T equal to one by m w, one by m w. This is a straight line equation. This equation is a straight line equation. A graph is plotted between Kc by T versus the and the concentration of the mass concentration of the polymer solution. A straight line is obtained. See, this is a straight line is obtained. The straight line is extrapolated to zero concentration. This is zero concentration. Okay. At zero concentration, when the concentration tends to zero, Kc by T equal to one by m. Only at the limiting concentration or at infinite dilution or at the T equal to zero concentration, this equation is used. This equation is used when the limiting concentration, that is, when the concentration is zero. From from the from the intercept, the molecular mass, the weight average, the mass average mass of polymer is obtained. Thank you for watching.